water on and we're good to go. I get asked all the time how I manage to sort of fit everything in. Um, for example, this week's a bit of a podcast week and I need to record an intro for my interview with Catherine Morgan, which I'm really excited to share with everyone. Um, that comes out tomorrow morning. So I've just set up for morning beginner adult ballet and I'm gonna steal just a quiet moment to get that intro recorded so that I can upload it and schedule it so my interview with Catherine Morgan goes live tomorrow morning without me having to think about it. And then I'll probably spend a lot of today preparing for the two interviews that I have tomorrow, which are really exciting. Um, on my way up to Brisbane tomorrow, I might bring you along and tell you who those guests are. I'm very excited, but I've got a lot of preparation to do today. Today's gonna be big. This is the only thing about working in a warehouse. Beautiful big space, but I'm gonna go into the office to record this intro because I can hear next door, they got like some packing tape and it's making this huge sound and these mics are so strong, they pick up everything. Okay, I'm gonna go reset myself up. <sighs> so much better, so quiet. Okay, gotta get this done. I've got like 10 minutes before I have to open the door for Adult Ballet. finished that recording of the intro for the Catherine Morgan episode and I've just finished teaching adult ballet so I'm just going to spend a little bit of time scheduling a few things that have to happen tomorrow to sort of successfully launch a new podcast episode which is what I do um, fortnightly. So in order to reach a good amount of people and let the Balance Ballerinas community know that there's a new podcast episode I do a couple of things. I've just finished editing the episode for starters and what I'll do is I'll upload that to the podcasting platform that shares the podcast to, for example, Spotify and iTunes. Is iTunes even a thing anymore? I don't think it is. Apple Podcasts. <laughs> Especially because I've got such a busy day tomorrow with the two interviews that I'm going to be doing, which I'm still very excited about. Um, I want to make sure that everything goes off like clockwork. So I'm going to schedule the podcast to go out at 6 a.m. I'm going to schedule an Instagram post to go around 7 and 8 a.m. And then I've got my e-newsletter, which will go out about 10 o'clock or midday, I think. Hmm, I've changed my mind. I think I have to tell you who one of my guests is because I want to show you how I prepare for a podcast interview. My first guest tomorrow is going to be Mary Lee, who is the wife of Lee Schwing Sing, the artistic director of Queensland Ballet. But Mary Lee herself is a phenomenal tale to tell and a phenomenal woman in her own right. She has just released a book. I have had my hands on the manuscript and I've been reading it before it's been released for a couple of days now. As I've been reading on my laptop, I've just been frantically making notes and I have pages, pages and pages. I am going to have to pull through now for a couple of hours and piece together a bit of a plan for the conversation and also make sure that I not only do Mary's story justice, but also do my very small part, very small part in the launch of her, what's going to be a massive book. So I've just got to Brisbane. Um, I am going to Queensland Ballet today, but I am also meeting up with my old coach, Paul Boyd, who had a marvelous career himself. He is also now a teacher um, and director at the Academy at Queensland Ballet. And I haven't seen him for maybe a year and I finally got him to agree to come on the podcast. And I have so many questions for him because when I was a young dancer, I didn't really get to know him because it was all about me and my training. So I'm really looking forward to the conversation. I am actually a little bit early, a couple of hours. So I'm down the road from Queensland Ballet. I'm going to go grab a coffee from one of my favorite cafes. I forget what it's called. Oh, it's just called The Stores. So it's down the road and they've got like a health food market and um, a beautiful supermarket and coffee shop. I like hanging out here, so I'm gonna calm my nerves with some caffeine or I don't know, maybe that might make it worse. I like to bring my podcast guests a gift and I was sort of racking my brain about what to get Mary. So I thought, hmm, flowers, you can't go wrong. And then I was thinking, what do I get? Mr. Boyd and men are really hard to buy for, <laughs> but I know that Mr. Boyd loves his wife more than anybody. So I thought I'd also get her a bunch of flowers because by making his wife happy, that would make him happy. So check out these flowers. They're absolutely beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at that. I love peonies. Fingers crossed.
just for all the technology that's involved in doing a podcast. I actually wasn't sure what to wear today. I always get a bit funny. I feel like I need to wear the right thing. And so I'm actually wearing the dress that I wore for my TEDx talk, which is one of my favorites. It's a, just a very simple black Camilla and Mark dress. I'm gonna start calling it my confidence dress, I think. It makes me feel confident and in control. Anyway, wish me luck. I just finished my interview with Mary and um, she's divine. She's so lovely. I really, really enjoyed that conversation. Whilst I'm waiting for Mr. Boyd, I thought I would show you my little podcast room that I've been given. Queensland Ballet are in temporary studios at the moment whilst they build their beautiful new one. So we're in this sort of temporary little meeting room, which is a bit echoey, which wasn't great for the podcast, but I will take what I can get. There's the flowers for Glenda. I already gave Mary hers. She loved them. Here's my little setup. I like that print. Oops, Mary left her music here and her glasses. I better go find her. So I've moved to a different room. They moved me because they thought the sound quality would be better in here. So I'm gonna do Mr. Boyd's interview in this room. So both the podcast interviews are done. It actually started heavily raining during Mr. Boyd's interview and I think that you might be able to hear it in the recording, unfortunately. Um, but I will get back to the studio where I have to now go to teach this afternoon and um, check to see whether you can hear it. Hopefully you can't. But I think the interviews went really well. I was really happy with them. I got a little bit teary when I did Mr. Boyd's interview. So. Just towards the end, I don't know, it just makes you think about things and, and how much I appreciate special people like him in my life. When the episode um, comes out, you'll have to have a listen and see what I mean. Uh, you had a huge jump, so that, that, that was just natural. When you... I've just gone back to the studio and I'm just checking the audio for that rain, which was so heavy. Queensland Ballet staff had actually had to put buckets out in the corridor because the roof was leaking, which was crazy. That's how intense the rain was, but it's all good. The audio is still great and um, it mainly picked up our voices, so it's, it's all good. My conversation with Mr. Boyd was everything I wanted it to be. He honestly makes me want to be a wonderful teacher and just to continue inspiring my students and doing everything that I can for them. So it was a really special conversation and, and one that I'm going to hold dear to my heart for a really long time. I love that man, he's just so kind. He's the best. Anyway, it was a good day. It was a really good day. And Mary's just lovely. Maintain that beautiful posture. Let's go.